Okay, camera, the next topic we're going to discuss is tangible versus intangible selling. This is one of my favorite topics because I have a very big passion for selling, I used to have at least, and I got to be very, very good at it. I would sell products, you could say services of coaching for upwards of $5,000, and I used to do it very easily, very naturally, and I'm going to teach you right now exactly how I did it myself and how the other companies and industries do it to you uh, so you can learn to recognize it and start doing it yourself and stop being the victim of this crazy cool thing. So uh, tangible selling versus intangible selling, what does that mean exactly? Well, um, tangible selling is where most of the people are at. It's where you look at stuff and see their face value and then you have this uh, very marketplace environment. So let's say, for example, uh, I want to tangibly sell you uh, a wallet. Well, what I do is just say, oh, this wallet is this kind of skin. It's this many pockets. This is how much it costs. And the problem with that is when you have tangible things in your um, selling model, when you're selling things tangibly, you can actually compare them to other tangible things. And that's what creates that marketplace environment where profits are constantly going down and down because of competition. So let's say uh, you 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 know I tell you about the the wallet. Well, you're gonna just look for other wallets and compare variables. So let's say you know it's this many pockets. Let's see, okay, how much does this uh, cost? How much pockets does this have? This kind of fucks you up because um, when you compare tangible things, you can use the rational mind and just sort of you know compare and get the best offer. And again, this fucks up revenue because everybody has to constantly take prices down, make better products for less money. Now, on the other hand, you have things like Apple, where they sell you a mobile phone with the exact same specs as a mobile phone that costs almost half. Or you have a Lamborghini and Ferrari that sell you supercars that drive you know, 1.5, two times faster than other cars, but actually sell for 10 times the price. Now, what's the thing behind it? What's the, the hidden mechanism? It's actually hidden in the actual thing itself. Let's say you want to buy a watch. You know, what do they do to you? They say, oh, it's, it's a Swiss watch. You know, Swiss. Swiss watch what costs 10 times more because it's Swiss. Or you want to buy a car. You know, it's a Lamborghini. It's a Ferrari. Or, uh, you know, if we go back to Apple, oh, it's an Apple mobile phone and again it's bullshit it's basically ideas that people inserted into your brain now uh, the thing is what they did they basically sold you the product but they sold you intangibly what that means is that Apple sells you their products because it's Apple it's luxurious and you can't really compare that to something else if I want to sell you a wallet and I say uh, this wallet is special it's it's a Swiss wallet or it's a wallet for celebrities. Well, you can't really compare that to anything else. You see, there's no, nothing to tangibly compare. This is more emotional selling. And that's where I can really raise the prices up. Now, what's the funniest thing about that shit is that let's say that Ferrari and Lamborghini are in a camp competition uh, regarding cars and they both want to sell cars. Um, now, competition in Lamborghini and Ferrari is different from Hyundai and uh, Mitsubishi because when you have luxury shit, uh, you know, things that are being sold intangibly, then competition only serves to raise the prices and raise the profits because if you want to sell more Ferraris than, more, than Lamborghinis, you just need to create a more luxurious Ferrari and if you have a more luxurious Ferrari, you can charge more for it. So as you can see, when you sell things tangibly, you're fucking yourself over. When you're selling intangibly, you're in control. So whenever you're selling things, whether it's ideas or objects or services, you want to make sure that the focus is not on tangible things where the customer can compare them to other things because that will fuck up your revenue. And then you're in the real world where you actually have to compete for prices. What you want to do is sell intangibly and focus on things like emotions, visions, uh, hopes, dreams, fears. These kind of things, you can't really compare them to anything. And if you actually convince someone 
that it does bring the feature on that level, well, they can't compare it to anything. So you just need to convince one, one person and you might be able to charge 10 times more, which is obviously much easier than selling, you know, 10 objects at a tangible level, which is again, bad profits, lots of effort. This is a really cool topic. I really love it. And I highly recommend that you try it. Again, I haven't really delved too deep into it, but you have the overview and you understand what you need to do if you want to sell something and just make a lot of money without too much effort. Again, just convince the idiots that it's intangible. You're going to make lots of money without too much effort. Enjoy.